Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I wanna talk about learning to code and how you can learn the wrong thing that can slow down your ability to land your first job. There's a lot of advice out there on YouTube and you're probably wondering, why should you listen to me? I'm 39 years old and about five months ago I landed my first job as a software engineer. You may be wondering, what's the big deal? Well, if you're young and just starting out learning to code or you're like me looking to switch careers, this advice will help you get job ready as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter if you're looking to go to college, boot camp, or self-taught route. It is still possible to learn the wrong thing and this can slow down your ability to be able to land your first job. The truth is there are certain things out there that companies are hiring for and things that they are not. So if you want to be job ready fast, you have to learn not what you like, but what is in demand. I pushed this idea of JavaScript and React. Why? Because that is how I did it. And in my area, there's a lot of opportunity, but it's not the only way. I was motivated to make this video after listening to Bobby from Coder Foundry talk about why they do what they do. Just like we have biases towards certain foods and we'll only recommend things that we like to our friends, I'm biased toward React and JavaScript because I love it. So I wanted to make a video for you guys to show another perspective outside of my own and tell you three things to keep in mind when choosing what you should learn if your goal is to land a job quickly. But before I do, let me tell you why I like Code of Foundry. Now, I have mixed opinions about coding boot camps, but the reason why I keep going back and watching Coder Foundry YouTube channel is that I love how transparent and honest they are. I mean, the founder puts his face on YouTube every day, provides a lot of value, and does not try to convince you that his boot camp is the best. More interestingly, what they propose is different from what I say. Bobby believes that the best way to get your first job is to learn ASP.NET framework and C Sharp. So who's right? Me, of course. JavaScript and React is number one. I'm just kidding. Back to what I mentioned earlier. It's not about learning what you like. It's about knowing what in-demand skill companies are hiring for. Bobby's a lot smarter than I am, and they did all the research, and they have a lot of success in their bootcamp. So the truth is, companies out there are hiring ASP.NET and C-Sharp developers, just like they're hiring React and JavaScript developers. Am I saying that you should join their bootcamp? No, what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter what educational method you use, as long as you're learning the right things. With that being said, I like the information that they share. And so if it sounds interesting, go check them out. So back to my three tips. Number one, make sure that whatever programming language you choose to learn, it is one of the top five in-demand languages to learn when it comes to web development. If you're looking to get into mobile development, machine learning, or game development, this list will be different. According to Stack Overflow, not in any particular order, the top five programming languages are Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, Java, and PHP. Some people will argue about PHP even being on that list at all, but most of the servers still run on PHP as their backend. The list does change, but you can't argue about learning a programming language that is in demand and has a lot of job opportunities. Tip number two, learn the appropriate stack based on the language you choose. What is a web stack? According to an article from inas.com, a web stack is a compilation of software set up for implementing a website and a web application. In layman terms, it is a combination of technologies that lead to a final product. So let's look at some examples. One of the most classic options is the LAMP stack. It uses Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Linux is the operating system that the server runs at. Apache is the web server, and they use MySQL database, and PHP is the language that they use to write the code. Another common stack is WISA, which is the Microsoft stack. It basically uses all the Microsoft products, which include Windows Server, SQL Server, IIS or Internet Informational Services as their web server software and the underlying code is written with the c -sharp programming language and their ASP.NET framework. And that is what they teach in Coder Foundry. From the perspective of looking at ASP.NET, I could see Bobby's argument for using that framework with the c -sharp language being a good starting point. It is a much more holistic approach, especially when working in the Windows environment. 
because you utilize all the Microsoft products. Another popular framework for single page web applications using JavaScript is the MERN stack that uses the NoSQL database MongoDB. The server side application framework is Express.js and the client side framework is React.js. And all of that is run in a Node.js runtime environment, which is based on JavaScript. With that being said, you could have a hybrid. For instance, where I work, we use ASP.NET and C Sharp for our backend API, which is uses the WISA stack, but our front end is decoupled from our back end and is created with React.js. You don't have to be a master, but you have to understand the general overview. For instance, I got hired just based on the ability to do front end development with React.js. At this point of being hired, my skills included HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. But the assumption was that I would be willing to learn C Sharp, ASP.NET framework as it applies to our back end. Tip number three. Whatever language you decide to learn, do not switch, commit to it. The biggest mistake I made was trying to learn everything. You can't. So choose one language, understand one stack, and keep studying until you can get your first job. After that, you could learn whatever you like. Of course, there's more to it, like building a portfolio, getting out there, and interviewing. A good resource is a book by Bobby called Breaking the Code. It will guide you through the five steps of getting your first job. I will leave the link in the description below. By the way, it's not an affiliate link and all opinions are my own. I just like what they do and wanted to share it with you. With all that being said, one thing is for sure, you can't go wrong with learning the basics. So if you're new to web development, you must start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's all I have for today. If you like what I do here on this channel, consider subscribing. Also, go check out Bobby at Coder Foundry's YouTube channel. They have a lot of great information that you will enjoy if you enjoy this channel. And let them know that Paul from Coding After 30 sent you. Anyway, thanks for watching and remember, happy coding everyone.